Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing on a Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so today we're going to jump in and look at the Int Broly with his EZA versus the Blue Zone or Supreme Magnificent Battle Beast Gohan. Uh, we did the Gogeta one yesterday, uh, I think it worked out pretty well, Broly looked pretty decent. Um, obviously that event starts off with two phases where you fight against an enemy whose name includes Goku, which means he does get the opportunity to do some extra attacks, which of course we will not get in this particular setup so we do need to be a little bit more lucky um, with the RNG and see how we get on um, we do have is there any way I can do this so nothing moves at the top nope uh, so we can get six orbs well I guess we just hope for the best here so we'll do this and uh, we'll see what we can do with our Broly now this is where Broly I mean at least we are fighting a movie hero and also hybrid Saiyan so either or doesn't really matter uh, so we're going to have 44% damage reduction, 44% crit chance, and we do get the um, extra attack that has a great chance to become a super. Remember his base passive, he already has extra attack that has a high chance to become a super. And then the movie hero, Pure Saiyan or Hybrid Saiyan, gives him the great chance additional. But yeah, then we only got a normal, so no Goku. But then we did get the hidden potential, so we did get two supers in the first turn. So we get two stacks, obviously we get 26% when we attack as part of our passive, um, and then obviously we do have 44% damage reduction. So in an event like this, like the physical Gohan in phase one doesn't really hit that hard. So, you know, obviously we're expecting to take double digit damage from the uh, normals here. Uh, and then the Broly trio, we didn't get the seven orbs with the guaranteed dodge, but we do have six. We still have the 50% chance. Um, everyone getting a little bit of an attack buff. They also lower attack, which is helpful as well. So, yeah. I should have turned the uh, entrance animations off because we're going to get... Actually, if I turn them off now, I think Cell Max was in slot 7. Um, but yeah, I mean, in Broly, I don't know if people have, like, warmed up to him now. I saw some comments on that Gogeta video that we did yesterday of some people sort of agreeing that they think maybe he is being a little bit underrated. Um, I suppose the real difference maker is going to be when we then start taking him into events where we're not against a pure Saiyan, hybrid Saiyan, or movie hero. Um, obviously, that is his like worst case scenario, but um, in that instance, he's going to be nowhere near as impressive, right? He gets one additional from his passive, then you're hoping for the hidden potential, and then he just has the 26% uh, damage reduction, which, I mean, in some instances, once he's got a few supers off, like he'll still be able to tank some normals, but in tougher bosses that are not giving him any of those parts of his passive active um he may potentially not even be tanking normal attacks um we haven't got that final phase on global yet of the universe survival saga blue zone where with the goku and Frieza boss um because i know there are phases in there where i think isn't it the phase before goku and Frieza you fight mvp 17 so obviously none of his passive will be active in the final phase, you will get the Goku part active, but obviously the unit themselves are not a movie hero, pure Saiyan or hybrid Saiyan. Um, but something like Cell Max Stage 2, for example, um, which as we've discussed in like previous videos, especially those ones where I've tried out different teams against all three of these stages like in a row to see if the same team build can handle like all these difficult stages. Um, the Cell Max like Stage 2 uh he'll just absolutely destroy broly i don't know about normals potentially normals will be fine but like if broly in broly gets caught by a super by cell max like especially on turn one um i would imagine that you would probably just die immediately but um so let's see turn two we're at 377k I and mean, it's not a lot we get 26 percent when we super so it's all just under 100k then we get the buffs from his actual um super attack effects as well so, I mean, again, he'll still be tanking normals relatively well, but let's go ahead and transform you. And then we can grab those, get this for you, and then get the STR orbs for Cell Max. Get him off to a good start here. But yeah, let's see how we go. So he's going to super attack straight away. Okay. I mean, fortunately, Tech Broly, 76% damage reduction on... Uh, this first turn after transforming so he takes double digit damage and then of course gohan nullifies the 18 key super which is fine like we still get our stack of our attack so that's what we like to see and then we get the uh, additional here as well um, no support on the rotation as well remember 
Um, I really like, I think I said it in a previous video as well, but the 12 key super for Tech Broly has really grown on me. Like, I thought it looked a bit odd in the times one when they first showed it, but in times two, I think it looks really good. So, Int Broly up to 8.6, um, and then we kind of just have to hope that the passive comes in clutch. We're getting the crits. So there's the first attack that has the 50% chance. We've supered four times now as well, which means our active skill will be available. Um, the great chance didn't convert, and then we didn't get the hidden potential. So this is kind of like one of the... I mean, it's not the worst case, because worst case is you just get one super, but two supers per turn, two turns in a row. I mean, this is the kind of um, stage where... Or this is the kind of run where he just isn't going to look that impressive, right? And even though... I've been trying to defend him a little bit, I'm saying I think he's being a little bit underrated. Like, you can't really argue with the performance, like, in this particular run, he certainly hasn't done anything that crazy. Because um, the thing is, he had the potential to be the extreme version of Tech Gohan. Um, and Tech Gohan, you know, sometimes you don't get the additional, sometimes you don't get the hidden potential. But, like, I've had Gohan do the three or four super attack turns so many times for me since uh, his EZA. And he just looks awesome like basically every time you use them which uh unfortunately for these guys we're not really seeing that now so if we do that i say these guys i mean this guy in broly so we'll do this get a little bit of extra support from the uh orbs i did that on purpose that way because i knew the seven orbs would drop down for the broly trio make sure they can get their dodge um i mean gohan being able to negate a bunch of these attacks is useful for us because obviously we uh do want to get Int Broly as many stacks in as possible. Ideally, I would want Int Broly to get another turn against the AGL Gohan here, but I'm not really sure because I think the... Is Broly's 12 key super a key blast or are both of his supers effective against Gohan? I actually can't remember. Yeah, no, they both are nice. Kid Buu is the one that has the nullifications against both the anniversary, like Broly and Gogeta. So... The trio might kill him. The awkward part about that, of course, is that if we get onto the next turn, as we've said before, like, Broly is not a slot one unit in Broly. So, when we get onto the next rotation, we could quite easily put, um, Tech Broly in slot one. But, then, of course, he probably kills Gohan, and then in Broly doesn't get any more stacks. Although, the way this is going, um, nice. The way this is going, we might end up killing him this turn, because the Broly trio with physical orbs, well... Actually, that's not that great. I suppose they don't have big bad bosses. That's the huge difference for them on this team, especially with running a bunch of Brolies, is no big bad bosses for them. And that does make a massive difference to their stats. So... Alright, so we're not going to kill... Okay. I mean, I could take the risk of putting in Broly in slot 1, but... It will be a risk. I mean, it's one attack. What are the chances? <laughs> he says. Uh, so what are we at? 527k. Bearing in mind, before we attack, we still do have the 26% damage reduction. So, I mean, I guess let's see how much damage we take. But it's probably going to be... Will it be double digits? Because he can't be attack lowered. So he hasn't been attack lowered. Um, it is double digits still. Okay, good. At least there's that. And then we're up to 11 mil... Um, he probably just kills him with the first one, though, unfortunately. Oh, no. Good. Another one? Damn. Yeah, that's always the worst. When you can get that extra attack in, but then it's not a super. It's definitely annoying. That could have been an extra stack for us. But that's fine. Um, right, so you're locked in the middle. Since he's probably going to super attack in slot one, we probably just leave... Um, Cell Max in slot 1. Now I'm going to do this this way round on purpose before people say why didn't you do this this way round? I'm going to use Cell Max's active skill first because then he doesn't get the attack buff from Broly at the end because I want Gohan to survive this turn right so I'm not going to use the active skill for Tech Broly either but I want to see Int Broly on the next turn with the domain buff from AGL Broly whereas if I use the domain if I use the transformation for AGL Broly first then, obviously, um, Cell Max would have gotten the domain buff for his active skill and then done a lot of damage. I mean, the thing is, this rotation's actually pretty crazy. So, he dodged. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> yeah, I think we actually just one turn Beast Gohan here. Um, because Cell Max, if he dodges a super, it still activates that part of his passive where he does an extra super attack if he gets supered. Um, so I think, yeah, he's going to do loads of damage to Beast Gohan and then the double Brody rotation is just going to kill him. <laughs> so, I mean, in Brody didn't really have to do a lot here. Um, in Brody didn't even get a turn against physical Beast Gohan. Um, I think what we'll probably try and do then is probably jump back in and try and get at least, like, Int Broly to be on the turn where we get to Beast Gohan, because, I mean, this is just an absolute perfect example of this team working the way it should, right, and just absolutely destroying Gohan here. Um, action break, Cell Max tanks are normal, and then, yep, Angel Broly. I mean, even to be fair, even if Cell Max hadn't got that additional super, the major difference, which is what I thought was going to happen, is that Beast Gohan would have supered, hit Cell Max. Obviously, we would have tanked it because of the active skill, but then Cell Max would have been stunned and then not able to attack. And then potentially the two Brolies by themselves wouldn't have been enough to finish off uh, Beast Gohan. So um, we'll try and jump back in and actually get a turn of in Broly against Beast Gohan. But, I mean, hey, he did what we needed him to do on the team. He did damage. He took double digits from all the normals and... That was about it. I mean, the team kind of did the rest of the work without him. But let's see if we can get a turn with him actually against Beast Gohan here. Okay, so I got back to this point. <laughs> I didn't have Broly on turn one, but we managed to not one turn this time because he did indeed super tech Broly in slot one on the previous turn and we tanked it. Um, actually super impressed considering it was turn five. I used the active skill, so obviously we get the permanent buff. But bear in mind, mine's only 55%. Uh, he took like 20k from Beast Gohan super attack in slot one. So that's uh, very impressive. Uh, in Broly hasn't had a crazy amount of stacks. So I don't think he's going to be looking too crazy. He's at 586k defense start of turn. Obviously he's getting a big chunk of that from the Turles army support. Um, but hopefully Beast will just super tech Broly again in slot one, stun him. And then good, because I was a little bit worried that tech Broly could just go crazy and obviously do too much damage to Beast Gohan here. So. Yeah, double digit damage because of the support from the Turner's army as well. So 18.5, definitely not as high as I have seen him because obviously we've tried him out against the Goku. Like we've gotten a lot luckier with additionals. Um, at least we did get the second additional, the 70% because we're flying a hybrid Saiyan or movie hero. It is either or at this point. Uh, and then hidden potential. We do get, okay, it goes up to 20 million. I mean... These are the turns where, like, he can look okay. Like, we've got easy A's. I feel like we've had easy A's. And, like, I mean, I guess it's difficult. How do you compare, like, a new character to an easy A? But, like, the fact that he he's doing those kind of attacks, but not until turn five. Like, it's still a good turn. And then, you know, he tanks the normal for double-digit damage, which is great. But, I don't know. Is that good enough? I mean, the problem, Global's in, like, a weird spot because... We don't have those last universe survival saga stages. Um, and obviously... I'll just have to do this one now because I can't get the seven orbs in slot one. Um, we don't have those last universe survival saga stages. So like Beast Gohan, Blue Gogeta and then Cell Max Phase 2 are still currently the hardest events in the game. But obviously JP has a few other different things which are a little bit more difficult now. That Goku, Goku and Freezer stage. There's the Peppy Gals event that has like the super hard hitting. Is it Bulma or Launch that does like 999 million? I don't know if that's the only thing that's difficult about that event though. I don't know if like the rest of the turns, like her normals, actually do a lot of damage or anything. But global, until we get the final difficult content for this celebration, so like the movie edition Blue Zone, um, it'll be interesting to see how Int Broly actually fares. Because I mean, that will end with, of course, the characters will be. A movie hero and potentially even be a pure say and potentially even be a goku right like the final most difficult stage of the movie's blue zone for this celebration could be with you fighting the trio like the new lr and then the final phase is the solo like goku in the standby mode um, and then obviously broly would potentially be really really good for that stage so it's one of those things where we won't really know but i mean he definitely holds his own in the content that we have at the moment the thing is going to be when we get like the next piece of difficult content, whatever that is, um, and the enemy isn't a pure Saiyan, hybrid Saiyan, or movie hero, and it also isn't a Goku, right? And then he just has to make do with the bare minimum. So, I don't know. So far, I still think he's been pretty good. 
Um, especially in this run, like he didn't really do anything super, super impressive, but I certainly wouldn't look at his performance in this run and say that he's bad. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Martin Ingen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out all the links down below and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.